Now I want to show you another scanner that I use, which is Yahoo Finance. This is simple, free. You just create an account, go to screeners, and you can create a screener. Um, when you go to screeners here, you can create a new screener. You can sign in. I'm going to sign in real quick. And I already have mine created. Again, you can create as many as you want. The good thing about the Yahoo one is you can scan as soon as the market opens. Unlike Finviz, you cannot uh, until 20 minutes of the market open. So at the morning, I'll use this one at first. And I'll scan in the very beginning of the morning. And this one, here's my scan parameters, as you can see. <clears throat> at the open, I want to see greater than 5%. Uh, small cap and mid cap. And then the volume is much less because it's right at the open. And I want to see it less than $10. And then I'll look here, and this one doesn't really give you as much information that I think in terms of, you know, that without going through all the next steps or extra steps of, like, looking in your software, seeing if it's a good chart. You have to actually just, you know, sort it by volume. Uh, once you sort it by volume, which is what I do, I mean, you don't have to do that. And then you can just look at the top ones, or I would look at the top percent gainers with the most volume, click on them, see if there's any news maybe. The charts suck, in my opinion. So I look at the, see what the market cap is, see if there's any news, pull up the chart on my software, and then from there, I'll determine if I want to trade it or not. So that's pretty much it. I mean, Yahoo Finance, it's free, it's easy to use, and I've found it to help me out a lot. I've been using this the most. So I really don't miss that much, even when I compare it to my actual scanner and my software. So this is a really good free scanner. Finviz is as well. But just in case, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, you can go with it, whichever one. But again, uh, just to give you an example of what the filters look like, it's very simple. I mean, look at this. You can just type in your region, market caps. You can add filters. Pretty much all, all kinds of adding for the filters. And that's pretty much it, guys. Scanning is very simple. But what, you know, and to set it up, what you need to understand is you need to find out what your strategy is. So that way you know what to scan for. If you like the short and you want to short high runners, you know, look for those type of setups. If you like to, you know, buy things that are just completely shit on and all the way down to the ground and maybe they're going to bounce, look for those type of stocks. Whatever it is, your strategy, do that and scan for those and you're going to play with it. You're going to mess around with it until you find something that works for you. I've messed with my scanner over and over. In fact, I've changed my scanner in the past week again. I've changed it multiple times because I find out that some scanners, even though it fits the criteria of a certain stock, it still doesn't pick it up. And then if you change it again and tweak certain things, they'll pick it up, but it won't pick up the others. So that's why it's also good to have multiple scanners going on at one time. So that way you don't miss any of the plays that you're looking for. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a, a message. Take care.